Your next question is question number 12. And uh, for question number 12, this question says that uh, we have a pack of 52 cards. And uh, from the remaining cards of the pack, two cards are drawn and are found to be both diamonds. Okay, and uh, it's mentioned that a card is lost from a pack of 22 cards. And from the remaining cards, two cards are to be drawn and both are to be diamonds. So we have to find the probability that the lost card is a diamond. So we have actually two events here. Let even be the event that lost card is a diamond card and let even be the event that lost card is not a diamond or non diamond card. So this is a non diamond card. So probability of losing a diamond is 13 out of 52 and the probability of not losing a diamond card we have non diamond cards 39 so that should be 39 out of 52 and let a be even of drawing how two diamond cards so suppose let's say we have to draw two diamond cards when a diamond card is lost so a diamond card is, is lost so that means we have total of 51 cards and because the diamond card is lost so the remaining diamond cards are 12 so out of 12 we have to draw Two diamond cards so the first one is drawn and if, when the lost card is diamond we have we have remaining 12 cards of diamond and total are 51 so this is the first diamond card so the second diamond card would be out of 50 and the diamond cards are now 11 and when diamond card is not lost we have 13 diamond cards but the total cards are 51 and now when the first card is drawn when the first diamond card is drawn we have 12 diamond cards and total cards are now 50. so now in the question is it's asked that the last card is diamond we have to draw two diamond cards when the last card was a diamond card. So we are going to calculate this using base theorem. And this should be equal to probability of E1 into probability of A by E1 upon probability of E1 into probability of A by E1 us probability of e2 into probability of e by e2 and we replace their values the probability of e1 is 13 by 52 probability of a by e1 is 12 by 51 into 11 by 50 so this is once again 13 by 52 into 12 by 51 into 11 by 50 plus it's 39 by 52 into 13 by 51 into 12 by 52. So <coughs> in both, uh, in all these terms is 52, 51 and 50 is common. So we will just keep it as it is. So 
let me just multiply the numerator so it's 13 into 12 into 11 so 13 into 12 is 156 into 11 is 1716 so it's 1716 by 52 into 51 into 50 and this is 13 into 12 into 11 is again 1716 by 52 into 51 into 50 plus it's now 39 into 13 into 12 so 39 into 13 it's 8 to 12 So it's 6084 by 52 into 51 into 50. So now it's 1716 by 52 into 51 into 50. The whole divided by, so this is the LCM in the denominator. So now 52 into 51 into 50 is the enzyme of the denominator and it's 1716 plus 6084 so this gets cancelled and now it's 1716 by 6 and 4 is 10 8 9 and 10 and it's it's 8 and 6 plus 1 is 7 so it's 7800 so it should be one seven one six six four ten eight nine ten eight and seventy eight and so let's try to simplify this this both of these gets cancelled by two it's two eights are sixteen and two fives are ten eight two threes are six two nine are eighteen zero Two fours are eight, two twos are four, two nines are eighteen, and two ones are two, two nines are eighteen, five zero. This gets by three, three ones are three, three fours are twelve, three threes are nine, three six are eighteen, three fives are zero. This gets cancelled by thirteen. Thirteen ones are thirteen, thirteen ones are thirteen, thirteen ones are thirteen, and thirteen fives are sixty five. Thirteen fives are sixty five. So our answer is eleven by fifty. The probability of Buying both diamond cards when a diamond card is lost is 11 by 50. So that should be our answer from option number 12. Okay. And thank you for watching.